Hey everyone, Ryan here. Welcome back for more Wrestling Talk this week. I would actually like to talk about what happened last weekend at the pay-per-view of the Royal Rumble 2021. So anyways, uh, there was a good kickoff uh, show for a match for us. Of course, uh, the women's ad tag teams, Charlotte Flair and Asuka, defended their belts against Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax. But of course, what did happen with this? Yes, there was some sort of interference, of course. I don't know why Ric Flair's been interfering with uh, Charlotte Flair's uh, match lately. It's just... There's something going on with these two. It seems like when Charlotte Flair first entered, she was still having problems with her dad, but it seems like they made things up. But this seems like there's another story in the works with uh, the other way around of Ric Flair interfering with uh, Charlotte Flair. And of course, he made a big impact on this match. Of course, he gave the brass knuckles to Lacey Evans and uh, gave her Charlotte Flair a women's all right for the loss to the women's attack team belts. Asuka seemed a little disappointed. Yes, indeed. And uh, this, it is what it is, I guess. <laughs> what started off uh, the pay-per-view for Royal Rumble, we had Drew McIntyre versus Goldberg. Now, this was a match that was going back back and forth, back and forth. Goldberg gave a nice spear to Drew McIntyre into the, the arcade, of course. And uh, <laughs> Drew McIntyre has been a really good champion, I got to say. He just keeps on getting up after every one of these opponents. And it seems like he conquers just about anybody who... Uh, comes face to face with him. Yes, he might have lost the belt to Randy Orton, but he also got it back from Randy Orton just as well. Drew, Drew McIntyre is an amazing guy, I gotta say, in other words. So anyways, uh, Drew McIntyre retained his uh, belt, I uh, pulled the win over Goldberg, and now moving on to the ladies' uh, match of the Royal Rumble. Now, I gotta say, this is probably one of the better ladies' uh, Royal Rumble uh, match I've seen in quite a while. They've been really impressive for 30 years to come when they first started off with the Royal Rumble. And everybody looked great, I gotta say. All the ladies were flexible in many ways. The reason I say that is that when you pull them over the ropes and try to get uh, get them uh, be eliminated from the ring, you'd think they would be eliminated. But that's not the case. Sometimes uh, they have abilities to actually come back into the ring and pull themselves in. And this happened on the multiple occasions as well, too, because <laughs> someone like Bianca uh, Belair, of course, uh, she is a very tall lady in uh, tall legs. It, it, it just seems like uh, there was many possibilities that uh, she could have touched the floor, of course. At one point, it kind of looked like it did, but it didn't. But she re did her best and maintained uh, to keep her towards the final end, of course. Now, the final end, believe it or not, yes, Charlotte Flair was in this match, and she may almost made it uh, possible to win her second Royal Rumble. But that was not the case, of course. And Bianca Belair pulled uh, this victory off in the Royal Rumble in was amazing, I gotta say. I wanna say good job, uh, Bianca Belair. Moving on to the next match, which is the Men's Royal Rumble. Once again, uh, these Royal Rumbles are always great, I gotta say. When I watch these Royal Rumbles, I count, do the countdown with everybody in that crowd, of course. Uh, the, at the eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And what do you get after that? <laughs> that was on the ball every single time uh, when someone came out for. The first two, of course, uh, were out there. Edge, Orton were the first two, of course. And I, I was really going to keep it on the ball going eh, the whole entire time with those uh, other 28 opponents coming out with the wrestlers on the ball, I gotta say. But uh, anyways, about this match with the Royal Mobile, this match was once again amazing. Edge was uh, the first one, and Randy Orton with uh, those two with a great history, we got to say. But of course, uh, after, there was a short incident even before the first 90 Seconds, of course, before someone actually did come up to the ring. Yes, uh, Randy Orton uh, hurt his uh, knee, it kind of looked like, and it was batting him back the whole entire time with this Royal Rumble. So you would always uh, think that he was going to be out the whole entire time, but we've seen many Royal Rumbles uh, with uh, many things happening. Of course, take one example with uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin with the thing with uh, the man himself, Vince McMahon. <laughs> I forget what year it is, but you guys probably know what the year I'm talking about. When uh, they were, uh, it was all chaos and everything. They went into the uh, crowd and into the other backstage area, and uh, we, they were no sign of him. And of course, uh, Stone Cold uh, came back to the match, of course. And uh, I believe that was the Royal Rumble when Stone Cold won the Royal Rumble. But anyway, speaking of 2021, Edge was dynamite throughout this whole year. It was great to see him back. Got to see his uh, best buddy once again, uh, Christian, come out. So we do see some actual returns coming back to this as well. This is really fun, I gotta say. See, got to see Carlito come back. We got to see him uh, come back on, on Monday Night Raw. He looked impressive, I gotta say. I'm really excited to see what he can actually do. 
to this uh, to this day, I gotta say, and he tagged up with uh, Jeff Hardy on Monday night. They look, both of them look great together, I gotta say. But anyways, the winner of the match was Edge, and I really think this is a really impressive with them lasting up to like pretty close to 56 minutes in that ring. Holy Toledo, that is awesome, I gotta say. But I do want to talk about now since, okay, who we know as a champion on both uh, Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown. So Monday night, we have uh, Asuka, and uh, over on the fr uh, Friday Night SmackDown, we have uh, Shasha Banks. And so, since Bianca uh, Belair won her match, who do you think might actually, fit, who she might want to face, I gotta say. So, you got, I, you actually got a member too, since uh, WrestleMania is just around the corner, we're on the road to Rus WrestleMania, of course, WrestleMania 37 is a really exciting event. Who do you think Bianca Belair might actually face? And if they can actually hold on to those belts until WrestleMania, which I think uh, both of them probably will. I see a mask are really brewing up between us, there's different wrestlers, of course, but I really think Bianca might be actually be, be facing, I almost want to say Oscar, but I almost want to say she might be facing uh, Shasha Banks. I really think that would be a really good match. Uh, once again, leave your opinions down. Uh, I would like to hear what you guys actually feel uh, where uh, Bianca might actually face for which uh, female wrestler. And the main uh, with Edge, the rated R superstar. <laughs> Edge, who do you think might actually, he actually faced, believe it or not. So over on Friday Night SmackDown, we got Roman Reigns. And over on Monday Night Raw, we got Drew McIntyre. I really wanted to see uh, maybe a possibility with uh, Edge and uh, maybe Drew McIntyre. And I, I think there could be a possibility of that. And the reason I'm hesitating with this, because uh, we learned of a new, another return uh, wrestler coming in the Royal Rumble, which is Seth Rollins. Now, really, I think oh, the, that would be the, the great match to see at WrestleMania. It's Seth Rollins and uh, Roman Reigns. They have had history. You got to remember other uh, part of the Shield from the past, and uh, they can bring. I really can see uh, these two uh, bring something uh, to the ring at WrestleMania. So, uh, my um, prediction with this, I would actually think if they both of them can ma maintain their belts, of course, I think it's going to be Edge against uh, Drew McIntyre, which I think that would be an awesome match. So, once again, leave your opinions out. Tell me what you actually think. Who Edge may actually face at the WrestleMania 37 event. And we're on the road to WrestleMania. This is a really exciting time, of course. This is really the time where I get worked up. Roller Rumble already worked me up by going eh, 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 30 times with uh, both ladies and the men's match. <laughs> I go crazy with these. And uh, if I were at these pay per view events, I'll be getting up every single time someone got up and it come to the ring. And that's the, the feeling about these uh, matches. It's so electrifying when you see these uh, events are live. I can't, I'm, can't wait till we can actually get back to uh, these WrestleMania events. And by the way, too, there's a possible chance of 25% of people may uh, actually get a chance to go to WrestleMania at the Tampa Bay uh, Arena Stadium, in other words. <laughs> so, yes, uh, th there we go. Our, our talk on uh, the Royal Rumble 2021. I'd like to hear you guys' opinions, what you guys actually think, who might be facing whom. At WrestleMania, and there's gonna be more talks about this in the future. I gotta, I gotta say, we still have like pretty close to about three months as it is. I went where we February, two months away. Holy Toledo's! So we're just about under uh, 65 days as it is. So I'm gonna start wrapping things up. I could really go on and on about this with what I saw last weekend with the Royal Rumble, really exciting event, and we are now on the road to WrestleMania 37. Real exciting. And so we know two wrestlers that will be getting the ma big main event on the biggest stage of them all back in April. Once again at the Tampa Bay, uh, Bianca Belair and Edge. Oh, hearing Edge again, that, that's really exciting. I never thought I would actually be able to say that. Because you guys can remember from last year, of course, Edge made that appearance and everyone was, was super excited to see him. The Rated R Superstar is back at WrestleMania 37. So with all that being said, yes, I'm really... I'm a big Edge fan, and I think he's great at what he does. And I can't wait to see what who in what he would actually face at WrestleMania. So, anyways, once again, give me those thoughts, comments, anything. How you feel about this uh, last weekend with the Royal Rumble, and what you actually think who will be facing whom at WrestleMania 37? So, with that being said, I can say my name's Ryan. Thank you for watching. Make sure to give me those thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time for more wrestling talk. I'll see you guys later. Bye.